All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is still your Super League Group B and the last winner bracket semi-final. We had TH winning, 1-0 winning, Infi winning, and now who's going to follow them? Could be the third human or the first Night Elf. Definitely no Orcs in the winner bracket finals, that's for sure. So the two young guns are facing each other. It's kind of a styles clash here in Group B with the two married players against uh, yeah, the, the Rugrats. Of the scene, life and romantic, as you can see here, 22 and 21 years old, man. Still baffling that they started this game when they were, like, I don't know when they started it, but the game is 15 years old and those players are just 6 years older. It's insane. But on paper, life should be the favorite here, as we mentioned before. Great statistics on Nettie's letter. The top three of the Nettie's letter belong to him. It is in matches 5 to 3 in favor of life, so 60% win rate. In maps it's 12 to 9, so quite close, but a tiny edge to life. How do you see it? I would agree. I've seen a few of his games from uh, other people's st uh, streams, and I think he's playing so incredibly well. Um, in online competition, as well as on ladder, he has been looking very strong lately. Hasn't quite been able to translate this into offline performances yet. We keep mentioning this. Um, last time he was very unfortunate with getting sick at the last GCS, which he was qualified for. Yeah, he was but tearing he it up been... before he got sick, right? He eliminated yeah. Roto Zero and Lin in his group with Romantic, by the way. Did you know that just from the top of your head? Yes. God damn. Love to have your memory. <laughs> and... I really like like a new thing of life that I saw since GCS, I think, that he left his comfort zone. It's not only Demon Hunter all the time, it's not only Dryads and Bears all the time, he's trying new things. He's learning the Warden, and his Warden play got a lot better than it was a few months ago. And he plays like mass Dryads as well. Oh, he denied one creep there. Not that he great. Lost and two of them, in fact. He only got one so far. And the, the Shadow Priest got stolen as well. This early game is not good for him. So I'm praising him here the entire time and he just fucks it up. Um, but I think now it's okay. Boots of speed. Very nice. But yeah, he left his comfort zone. And since then, he got so much better. Yeah, this creep may have not gone perfectly. He didn't get level 2, which usually you do get. He missed two last hits. But he finished it quickly. He didn't lose any Wisps. He didn't lose the Archer. The Shadow Priest is low, and the Boots of Speed, man. What a game changer. He's yeah. so fast, now he can harass the Archmage very well. May not have evasion, but uh, Echo Isles. You said before he's uh, branching out a little bit here nowadays. He doesn't go for the Super Standard anymore. He does try Warden every now and then, but this time it is the Demon Hunter. And a super fast tech by life. But only two Moonwells. Of course, the farm is scouting this. No counter expo yet. In fact, no Here's expo attempt yet attack. by Romantic. He's taking his time here. And he's pulling. Okay, one wisp here. I thought he would be. I don't know. Engine of War rushing the base or something. But nope. Just wisps coming. And the Demon Hunter is well aware that this expansion is coming. Once again, a late expansion by Romantic. With this harass early on. And a level 2.3 Archmage. But yeah, Demon Hunter is there. No immolation as it seems. No, it's evasion. And putting good damage towards this Archmage. Remember, there's boots of speed on this demon. AM, what's he doing? He's just sticking around, dude. You have to get away. Oh, nice block here to keep him safe. That was very well wow. done. Well calculated. 10 HP. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Ooh. Intense Hopefully early the game. Priest was alive. Yep, yep, yep. The poor, poor peasants. They have to oh, uh, kill this ogre mage right now. Does does he does he have the idea? He wants to steal the last hit here with a mana burn, but it's, he's so low! <laughs> this is so tense. Fireball of mana burn, who gets the experience? Oh, he kills the Demon Hunter! But the Archmage oh. dies as well! <laughs> Nobody gets the experience from the Ogre Magi! <laughs> and he kills it now. What an opening to this series, ladies and gentlemen. You might have been disappointed with game number one with the two tower rushes, but this is something else. He buys back the demon with the wisp now. Expensive, but seems to be well worth it because this expo is so players' forces are under attack. Dead it seems. Like it's GG, lol. Okay, you what might are be these games today. You might be disappointed with this game as well. <laughs> are you kidding me? 
Wow. We are not hitting double digits today. No game is lasting even 10 minutes. Well, What's the second happening? was 14, right? Wasn't oh, it? really? It, it felt shorter. Was yeah. it really 14 minutes? Okay. Again, so. a less than five minute game here. And life takes the lead. We have to say, those boots of speed were pretty fortunate. Yeah, I heard some casters saying that these uh, boots are pretty good. <laughs> pretty good item. <laughs> yeah, pretty good item. But why did the AM just stand there for I have like no idea. 20 seconds just taking the beating? That didn't look ideal. Uh, sometimes you have these disconnects on netties, but I don't think it was the case this time. Otherwise, he would just call for a rematch, I guess, but... Maybe he just, you know, misjudged this. Maybe he thought he was going to be able to trade better. Yeah. But trading against a Demon Hunter, dangerous with an Archmage. And yeah, it's... Well. But, but life had the timing down, like, perfectly. There was a... Uh... He arrived before the militia at this creep spot, and he had to run all the way across the map. And he was on a good level, and he had a good item. So this late romantic expansion might not be working that well. And we're going on to Amazonia next. Speaking of late expos, this is a map where usually we always saw the late expansion with level 3 Archmage, but nowadays it is more about the instant expo, because that way the Demon Hunter harassing will be too late. But it was Life himself here who introduced a new strategy, going for the Warden first and then making nothing but Dryads. Warden, Dryads, Tier 2, no expo, no bears, don't give a crap, just Dryads and Warden and win with that first hero. Is he going to look for that again? Does Romantic have this in the back of his mind? Does he want to adjust? Early on already, a lot of decisions will have to be made here between the two players. Indeed. Life versus Romantic, game number two. one -oh lead for the Night Elf. And will it be a Warden again, or is it the safe pick? Is it going to be the Demon Hunter? We will see in just about one and a half minutes. Game two, here we go. Thank you very much, Herr Wusel, once again, for the resub two months. I think it's going to be a warden, honestly. It looked so damn good when he premiered it a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. I, th I think it was like six weeks ago, maybe. Maybe a little bit longer. But of course, on ladder, he must have practiced this more. Has he run into issues with that there? I don't know. We will have to take a look at the altar. Of course, for the human, it's going to be... An Archmage first, no question. But for the Night Elf, what is the pick here? We used to see quite a few Tavern heroes as well in the meta a couple of months ago. But not anymore. And oh, it's not the Warden. He is going for the Demon first. Yeah, I was praising him for his uh, newly found variety. And boom, he goes Demon Hunter twice. Like, my calls are back. <laughs> but all right. Let's see what Romantic can do. He sends over a Militia this time for scouting. Of course, he wants to know what his opponent's hero is. But he can't do too much with it. Like, no creep steals or something possible. He could pull the creeps and let the Militia be purged so there's no lightning shield. And this is, I guess, exactly what he's doing. There we go. Perch. No mana on the Renegade anymore. So this creep spot already will take a lot longer than usual. Because usually you would have the lightning shield on this archer, then it stands in between the three creeps. You get damage uh, on all of them. Not possible anymore. Exactly. And he's even sending the footy over. Can he really do too much with his footman? Let's see. Maybe he can see the last hit. That would, of course, be the dream. Doesn't get, of course, the big one, though, that was taken out first. The renegade here dropping the circlet for the demon hunter. And he is going for the later expo. Kind of typical romantic, I guess. But I was assuming the instant expansion. Not the case here. We have seen a lot of Immolation Harass being very su successful Excuse me, on this map. And with this later expo, this is going to be possible once again. Oh, look at the upper left. There's an archer pulling the creeps. Of course, there's a run for the Shadow Priest now. And looks like Life gets it. There was a footman ready. But no, Life has the Shadow Priest. Therefore, Dispel and Healing. And keeps the archer alive as well. Archmage now level 2. Level 2 for the demon as well. Where did he get the experience? From the water elemental. 
Ah, yeah, of course. Yes. But now the Shadow Priest is out of mana. But so is the Archmage. How are you supposed to creep this? <laughs> yes, right? Without no, water elementals. No water elemental. No shop for clarity. Does he have something? No, no intelligence items here. He's completely out of mana. This is ridiculous. Yeah. This doesn't work. <laughs> I don't think so. Um, okay. Your entire game plan revolves around the expansion. Yep. Now, it seems like you can't creep the expansion. Well, with like nine What's militia. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, it's eight. Shh, could work. Like, it's eight militia and five footmen. Come on. It's doable. I mean, he can creep this, of course, but um, how much damage is he going to take? He kills one archer here. That's uh, finally a good sign for Romantic. And here we go. Demon, once again, has the boots. The AM doesn't, and he's already low HP. And the What's workers as well. One falls, second one falls. This is a feast for the Demon Hunter. The oh third one god. falls against the creeps. Oh my god. Oh. He gets the surround though. Dude, that is his one ticket here to make this a solvable game. That surround was absolutely necessary. And he's gonna force him back. Okay. Still, Salvaged. This kind of hurts. Yeah, kind of. He lost four foot, uh, four peasants already. He doesn't have gold. He builds the shop first. He doesn't have gold for the expansion now. But thank God for that surround. Had he not gotten that surround, the AM would have had to TP. Yeah. <laughs> he wouldn't have gotten the expo. Or the AM would have died. I don't know. But still, AM uh, Demon is back. No TP anymore though. No staff. If he gets a surround again, he kills this hero. It's hard though. Against Boots of Speed and the model of the Demon Hunter surrounds are very, very hard to pull off. But life is pulling way. a lot of wisps here. Yeah, he's tier one. Looks yeah. like he's all in. There's no Huntress Hall, right? No, there's not. Under attack. He's, he's teching now. But no AP push, no Huntress follow up, no yeah, big insane. aggression coming. But he has so many footies, dude. And a lot of resources on the human side as well. He can go for the expo now. But he went for the tower first. <laughs> what an important. intense early game for Romantic, man. He must be sweating blood right now. These games today are <laughs> something else. They are interesting. There's a lot of archers here. He's doing the shredder push, right? Or shredder talent push. Players forces are under attack. I, I guess so. Yeah, with know. six archers, definitely. Yeah, and this, uh, he already made eight because two archers have fallen earlier. Very squishy, of course. Archmage now with the boots of speed to be able to run away from the now demon, which he's doing see. right now. But getting mana burned, burned again. Still. Romantic trying to get some space here with the footman attack against the moon wells. But I think this is easily defend. There's no defend yet. It's coming though. And once there's defend, like how does he deal with these footies? With talent and a shredder. Here's and the first shredder. one. Yeah. Massive normal damage. Almost as strong as a bear in master form. Yeah, this is how you do it. Demon hunter shredder. And it's defended. But the upgrade defend is almost ready. Of course, Shredder is going to be good, but archers are going to be pretty useless. One more archer has fallen. We're down to five now. AM dropping low as well. Has to be careful, but he is fast here. Again, taking the unnecessary hits. Speaking of which, Putman dies in the north against the creeps. Did he <clears throat> felt the need now to open up supply or something? No. No tier two tech. More peasants. One Shredder. Tier two for him. Almost finished. Gets a shock, so this is not a death push coming from life now. He's waiting a little, creeping a little. This is level three for him. Then Naga and Talents, and off we go. Don't be sick. Lightning shield. Ah, oh, doesn't get it. <laughs> Gets the eyes though. That's quite okay. There won't be too much movement of romantic on the map see. though. It's gonna be all defense. It turns daytime now, so the Zeppelin has become available. And a Huntress Hall. It's not a talent push. It's a panda second. I was so expecting the Naga yeah, here, but yeah, too. as you said, with the Huntress Hall, there is a transition possible. Is he now, after all of this aggression, after eight archers, gonna go into a counter expansion play? Hmm, there's nothing in place. But he has so much time. 
that he can easily go into bears. I mean, it's not that as efficient because he built so many archers. A romantic went super heavy into defense, so he's not even going to tier 2 yet. He's gonna go there very soon, I think. All right, is it Zapper time? No, it is Zeppelin time. And yeah, I am gonna try to be annoying with this, but we have a lot of archers here against this, so there is decent piercing damage. He's trying to cancel the lures. He needs to get one of them, at least with his heavy commitment. He may not even get a single one heal scroll coming in. All right, he's gonna get one here, but the second one is gonna come through. I. Oh, no, I think he's gonna get it as well. Wow. wow. Actually, it looked so bad for so long, but in the end, he gets both. That timing, man, that was perfect. And I mentioned it yesterday in the cast that there's so much more emphasis on killing tier 2 buildings or production buildings in, in general compared to one year ago. And this was a prime example of why this is so big. Life has a pretty decent situation here ahead with the fast tier 2 tech. And if this goes through those lores, he has so much map control with the Dryads. Now, he threw him back. Lores are coming up only now. Romantic is catching up in tech. Fortifies his position here with towers and the blacksmith. So I guess the human is coming back into this game. Very impressive timings and play by Romantic. But he lost all of his footies for this. He now has two again, but what can he really accomplish with two footmen? He's trying to be annoying here, but the Agent of War was in position. He can creep this easily. He's gonna get an archer at least. One more into the grave. They're all slow, so they're easy to pick off. And if he delays this creep, this is a big deal, because of course Counter Expo has to be the play here from the Night Elf. He did find the greater mana, and he actually loses almost every single archer. Yep, Good fuck this tier one stuff. Away with the footmen, away with the archers, and away with the engine of war, so... Yeah, this is not crept yet. And he has to go to tier 3, which he does. But he needs an expansion sooner or later, or is he just going all in on the first one push? Because I don't think that's going to work against this expansion. There's two towers soon, it's well fortified, and tier 2 is almost done, so... Rifleman and Breakers are coming as well in castles. I think life has to now counter expand down here and then be aggressive at the same time. Keep the human busy. Find some pickoffs with these dryads, with this slow. But we have the second Zeppelin now for Romantic. He's trying to be annoying once again with this, trying to cancel the expo most importantly. He's scanning the main base, in fact, with the reveal from the laboratory, looking at what's going on. And then I need some time to think about what he saw, I guess. If there is a break. There is a. Uh... An entrance now into the base of Romantic. Demon Hunter is in. There's only one Arcane, but without immolation, you can't do too much. Romantic has 1,400 gold banked up, and now with Shredder and two towers, you can't really do too much. But at least this is what you point out all the time. He took uh, took a look at the main base, so he's not blindly pressuring the main base, uh, the the ex ex expansion. But sees that the, uh, that the main base is vulnerable. The town is under siege. But now he has to respond first with the defense. Footy going towards the lab is a separate time. He has the resources easily for some who are available. Not going for them yet. Going for the lore first. Panna is still creeping. And he's not sweating the situation at all. He's just hanging up there. Shredder dropping low. He has enough lumber, I guess, so he doesn't need him anymore. But still... Good right-click unit, and he's gonna lose it right here. Expensive loss. The demon, though, with the Orb of Venom now pretty strong in defense by himself. And the Zapper did get purchased, and he did get rid of one Agent of Lore. So production is cut in half. Th uh, lucky for life, he didn't go for the one that is building the Master Training. So he does have one Master Bear soon. But yeah, he needs the second Lore up. And he lost the Shredder, so this is a heavy insect into Lumber. And still no counter expansion from life, and he must have seen this, or he could have seen this, as this uh, Huntress Hall is right next to the laboratory. Naga second for Romantic in the main base, double arcane sanctum, rifleman, no workshop yet. Double scroll of healing here for the human. The panda is strong. This usually looks like a checkmate situation. If the Night Elf has not expanded by now, this game should be over. One way you can get around this is with crazy leveled heroes. Um, offsetting the... Oh, Zeppelin. Gonna Push die here. Burn. One footman survives. <laughs> For whatever reason, he 
poked a hole into this forest, but yeah, he survived. He saw that coming, Neo. Three minutes ago, he knew. All right, of my weapon's course. gonna die here. Need to uh, carve a little hole into the trees. So, still no counter expo coming. Live seems to be ident identifying that this is too late. He's pressuring now instead, and there's not too many towers here, and Romantic hasn't exploded into this high supply yet. Seems like life needs to win this game within the next two minutes. Yeah, I agree. It's only two bears and two dried. Third bear is coming, so there should be a good amount of Riju. He's pushing himself into a good position. Two towers down, two three towers bears down. here, but lots of militia coming from the main. There's a lot of hurt peasants there as well. The tower will fight for him. The bears could block this. But on the other oh, side, Naga. there's so many. Whoa, there was a massive breath of fire on level two. Heal scroll number one to counter it. Panda still with a lot of mana. He has the next one ready. Is he gonna use the combo or just the breath? Just the breath. Big damage though, regardless. Life out of nowhere. Can he still win this game? Next heal throw has been used, and now there's none left for the human. And did, there's four bears here. Did life lose a single unit in this attack so far? These breath of fire were so crazy good. Forced two heal scrolls. He still has the big mana potion, and here we go, barbecue time! And with that, he should be able to take this tower down, at least with the next breath of fire. This could be a pentakill or something. Mass repair, buying so much time for the main army, but the tower is down regardless. Using the next breath and the, on the peasants, yeah, was don't that really the best that idea? Choice. The bears are stuck behind each other, so two of them are useless. I love how he keeps the one right in the back, which is low to attack the peasants. Now draws him back, though. And he may not have any heal throws anymore, but finding the army is big for Romantic. He only has to hold on now, survive for a little bit longer, and this game is yours. Well, that's no breakers anymore. He didn't rebuild the shop, if I'm not mistaken. Technically, the Archmage now. Shredder goes down. The bear, uh, the mass of bears is getting better and better. Naga almost without HP, but the Demon Hunter has to be staffed out soon to heal up and then staff back in. Does he have a staff? No, he has to run back. So once he's gone, he's gone. Staff. Will have to be used. There we go. There is moon juice, but not too much, honestly. He killed He's... like 10 supply in a blink of an eye. The peasants are still mining, but they're exposed. No more towers. Only one bear up there would get rid of the mine, but he has to retreat now because Romantic once again. Moving forward, still lots of resources here on, on Romantic side. He's power building something in the main. He's barely mining, by the way. Because of the power build. Going for the shop is the Knight of two heal scrolls for him. It's go time now. And once again, we have five bears. A fearsome force. Naga's going to the shop as well. Will she be fast enough? Maybe she's forced into a staff on her own. It's only one heal scroll available and one invo, but she doesn't purchase that. So, basically do or die for life. Now the Demon Hunter is getting super close to five with this. The Blacksmith falls. That means no Rifleman anymore. Situation for life getting better and better. There is a shop, by the way, so more breakers coming, and he needs that. Panda has good mana. Drunken Haze for the missed chances. Ignites them, but not too many. Archmage is kind of stuck over there. He could surround him with a bear. He's too slow, though. Boots Hiding now, of course, them. with the slow. That has to be his game plan. AM once again up, up in the front. So far, nothing has died, but the heal scroll is gone already. Panda, though. Out of mana. Yes, good shots from the breakers to get rid of his mana there. He has one more breath of fire in a bit. He should be focused, but he's not. Oh, will he really let him through with this breath? Looks like it. Oop, there we go. Massive breath again, hitting the entire army. And the Naga is about to fall. Level up and boom, mana burn. There it is. Naga dead. Can the demon hunter survive there, though? He has a staff, always ready for the level 5 hero. Can't let the one, that one die, of course. And there is the staff. With the militia support, can he drive this Knight of Army back? It looks like it. Naga's coming back as well. Level 1 hero only. He's gonna be, She's gonna be back very, very soon. Expo is being resupplied with peasants. He's fully mining again, finally. Love to what see a tug Blizzard, of war here can't on afford Amazonia. It. And once he goes Blizzard, I think life will just go into mass riots. Panda, got so close to level 5. Yeah, we got two bears in this chase. Naga is back, huh? He could creep to level 5 easily now. Does he have the time for that though? Or is that gonna be too much freedom for Romantic? 
Romantic seems to have been stuck here at 55 supply for such a long time. He would love to just take a break just for a minute to get some resources. But life is not giving him any time. Once again, engaging. Clarity on the panda. Good mana again. And no scroll of healing for exactly. the human. This is the first time in this game where there's no scroll of healing. But he throws the drunken haste, but no follow up. So that was a waste of mana for this panda. Not a small one. And now the bears in trouble. There's only one staff. So yeah, this double slow combo one. of Naga and slow from the sorceress is so good against bears. Is the demon close to six? Huh? Not really. Not really. Steps out the first bear, but I think those two will fall. Has to use the town portal to save them. Uh, it's definitely worth yeah, though, I think. Add more time for Romantic. The human, he held on for so long. Everybody, but, uh, everything was in shambles at his expansion. But Does he get a heal scroll here? He gets one heal scroll, but if the panda now creeps to five, I think he may be able to hang on in this game, even with the small army, and then maybe expand once the mains have run out, because it's not long it's until a, it's time for that. It's a five level disadvantage for Romantic, right? It's four and <laughs> so one sick. versus five, five, it's insane. Okay, he's catching up now. And the panda will fly. All right, time for mana potions. Yeah, he does have the gold. Of course, he's in no upkeep, so he doesn't have to pay taxes. 600 gold at the moment. And give me that mana potion. We need it. Riflemen without upgrades. Breakers without upgrades. Probably Devotion Aura. That helps a little bit, but not too much. Archmage is getting close to 5, though. And there is no mana potion on the panda. Just the clarity okay, running. Forces are under attack. I would love for the dryads here to snipe the water elementals. Free experience at this point. And the demon, if he gets to six, man. He's playing one base versus two this entire game. This is not supposed to be possible. Not at all. But life may be wake making it work. 20 minutes of tuck of war. Romantic scanning again if there's a red spot creep going on. But he doesn't really need to creep anymore with 5-5. Five, five. Of course, you can't get experience from creeps once you hit level 5. Um, if a you're a returning Reign of Chaos player and might be confused. Which is very if likely. If anyone's out there, please let us know in chat. That would be <laughs> amazing. Archmage is gonna get level 5 here. That is usually a big upgrade, but not if they just get dispelled by the Dryads. We I was just about to say, do you, would you recommend going Blizzard now? I mean, it's expensive. He has no money at the moment, but it's expensive. And there's always a chance to go for Dryads only. A player's forces are under well, then you have to kind of go... Oh, he wiped out the entire pest line. Oh With shit! This demon hunter can't be punished. He has a self teleportation. Demon hunter is now more than five and a half. By the way, he didn't get nature's blessing. Don't know if I. Maybe it was intentional. Maybe he forgot about it. I don't know. And now he's just killing this town hall. Yep. Are you serious? Does he have a TP on the human side? Yes, he there is. To. He's going back now. He did find the flute of accuracy. Amazing item. How much can you find here in this chase? Slow on three bears. There's no TP this time. Staff to save one of them. But two seem to be the casualties. He can go for a TP scroll here at the shop if he wants to. Are under but he doesn't seem to want to. He attacks with more dryads. He really wants to kill this town hall and wipe out the peasants. It's so smart. Distracting with the bears and like sacrificing two bears for the continuous attack on the peasant line. Because the main gold mines are about to expire. Only 400 <laughs> gold remaining. This is crazy, man. We have basically no more income. Yep. In a moment. But he is going back here to deal with this demon. And of course, he, demon is a strong hero, but he can't fight by himself against 70 supply. Unless he's, of course, <laughs> metamorphosis. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which is not too far away. As you can see, 186 experience missing. The Tree of Eternity uproots. No nature's blessings. It's this gonna take, uh, take a while. This is a tree beard right here. <laughs> Not too hasty, little hobbits. He's gonna go over to the gold mine. Romantic is mining again. Going for the red camp here. Two shot aura four, I think. For the Didn't nine. really know where he got that. Ah, in the bottom right. Before the town fall, right? Archmage. That two shot is great. Ah, oh, he stole the two heal scrolls. So important by Romantic. 
gets the boulder toss though and life catches him in a fight that he really doesn't want to take i guess rock golems helping out the night elf here panda moving into position this is going to be a massive but he already used one his scroll of healing just against the creeps basically that wasn't the greatest breath but still decent damage look at the experience for the demon hunter man only 70 about away and the water elementals more experience one more kill or two, and we're gonna have the ultimate. Can he make this game work despite being on only one base? That brought the fire! Everything's ignited. One more kill, and we are officially there. I think life's got this. Here we go. Metamorphosis, level six. Let the chaos reign. Here we go. Mana burn, right clicks, area of effect. GG! The longest game of today is over. Romantic tried to hold on for such a long time, but in the end, one base life with uh, split pushes. Made it work and two two O's here today. Very, very fast day two at Doyu Super League. Just one hour. And our series Just are over. One hour. But how crazy by life, man. Refusing to back down. Refusing to like uh step away from the aggression. Yeah. He didn't need an expansion. Just and that's uh that's the thing about Warcraft, you know? The numbers are not the only thing that matters all the time. He may have been down like 30 supply, but the heroes, level 5 on both of them. I didn't. I don't even think he needed the metamorphosis in the end. He was just uh, nah, breath of fire igniting everything. Off. Yeah. The last breath of fire was really good. Yeah, I think he got 4 kills with that or something. <laughs> that was pretty, uh, pretty dope. Really good play. Yeah, life uh, versus Infi now in the next round. This could be great. This oh, will yeah. be. A Oops, this one. Wait, there's the bracket. Life versus Infi. This will happen next Wednesday, if I'm not mistaken. Let me check on calendar. Back to Warcraft. Com. Yes, we have three hours of Doyu Super League on Wednesday, starting at noon Central European time. Will you be there? Yes. Nice. Me too. And uh, yeah. It's gonna be good, boys. So wait, good. they're gonna play Group B before Group A? That's yes. kind of weird. Yes, I don't know. Maybe uh, the age is getting Chinese. married or something. <laughs> and there must be a reason behind it. I don't really know. Uh, yeah. Maybe someone of Group A is not able to play or something. I would assume so. So they switched this. Yeah, the new play dates for Doyu Super League from now on is Wednesday. 14th of March, 21st and 28th, and the 4th of April, with the grand final and the game for third, as the playoffs are single elimination. So You're saying that like it's something completely outlandish. Single elimination? It's not that common in Warcraft, that playoffs are single elimination. Yeah, I used to be a big fan of single elimination, but I think TI changed my mind. The international. I really like the lower bracket runs. So I, I think I'm reverting back to uh, being a double elim fan. How do you feel about it, Neo? I like double elim as well. It's, uh, as you say, lower bracket runs are cool. I like long series, but oftentimes it's like a 3 0 or 3 1. It's very rare, I guess, that we get these super intense back and forth 3 2 races. Except Foggy versus TH comes to mind, of course, in this best of seven, but. Yeah, I like double elim with best of three. Yeah, as long as there's no uh, map advantage in the grand final, I hate that. Yeah, I really hate that. But I think it's uh, falling out of favor more and more. But yeah, yeah, anyways, best of one here. Now it's time for NWC 3L, isn't it? It is.